Okay, so uh, today we're looking at page 17. At this point you have read uh, the, the quadrilateral rules a few times. So uh, you should be familiar with the reasoning in uh, your geometry. So we are told here that ABCD is a parallelogram. So if this is a parallelogram, what do we know? We know four, four things. We know that opposite sides are equal, opposite sides are parallel, opposite angles are equal, and the diagonals bisect each other. But we don't have uh, diagonals here, so that rule doesn't apply in this case, unless we draw it in. So we know that ABCD is a parallelogram. Calculate with reason the unknown angles indicated by X and Y. So if we look at the unknown angles, the only thing we then need in this case is to calculate x and y there. But we know that x is equal to 1, 1, 8, y. Opposite angles of a parallelogram is equal. And y is equal to 62. Opposite angles of a parallelogram is equal. So let's write that down. So x is equal to 1, 1, 8. Right? Opposite angles of parallelogram equal. Okay? We can say two pairs of opposite angles of parallelogram equal. So y is equal to... This is now for number one. Y is equal to 62 degrees. Again, opposite angles of, of a palm is equal. Okay. Let's look at number two. Number two, they want the length of DC and AD. So AD is 16 uh, millimeters. And CD is 32 millimeters. Okay. So you're going to say that AD is 16 millimeters because opposite sides equal in a parallelogram. And DC is equal to 32 millimeters. Opposite sides equal in the parallelogram. You can uh, mark it with two parallel lines with M on top, or you can put palm, right? or you can write down the full parallelogram, the word there. Let's look at B. B, we are told that A, B, C, D is a rhombus. So if this is a rhombus, what do we know? We know the opposite angles are equal. We know that all sides are equal. Um, we know the angles bisect each other. We know the angles are 90 degrees. We know many things, okay? So, let's look at, uh, the first question says, calculate with the reason the unknown angles indicated by X and Y. So, X is equal to 60, opposite angles of a rhombus is equal, Y is equal to 120, opposite angles of a rhombus is equal. So, we write that down. So, X is equal to 60 degrees, opposite angles equal in a rhombus. Okay, it's not suffice for us to say um, properties of a rhombus. We must name the property itself. Y is equal to 120. Again, opposite um, angles equal in a rhombus. Okay, opposite angles equal in a rhombus. So we, we normally write this in on the diagram as well. So we start populating the diagram. Then uh, in number two, Number two, we are told the length of AD, but we know that AD is equal to DC, which is equal to BC, which is equal to 13. Why? That all the sides are equal in a rhombus. Okay, so it's all equal. Why? And then we just say all sides equal in a rhombus. Okay, all sides are equal in a rhombus. Let's look at number in C. C, we are told that ABC is a square. So if this is a square, then all the sides are equal in the square. That is 90 as well and so on. Okay? So the first question says, number one, the unknown angles indicated by X. So X is equal to 90 and Y is equal to 90. Why? Because the vertex angle in a, in a square is uh, 90 degrees. Vertex, angle 90 degrees in square. Okay, that's the vertex angle there. Again, the vertex uh, angle equal to 90 
equals 90 degrees in square. Okay, both is acceptable. Let's look at number two. Number two says the length of AD. So we know that AD is equal to DC, which is equal to CB, which is equal to three centimeters. How do we know that? Because all sides equal in square. Okay. Now we go to uh, page 18. This So now we're looking at page 18. D, we are told that A, B, C, D is a kite. So if this is a kite, we know that one pair of opposite angles are equal, and two pairs of adjacent sides are equal. So that is eight, and this is going to be six here. Okay, so let's answer the question. It was name X, so X is equal to um, 130 degrees Y, because a one pair of opposite angle equal in kite. There's your reason there. One pair of opposite angles equal in the kite. Which make that equal. Then number two, so if these angles are equal, then these two adjacent sides are equal. Okay? And number two, they want the length of AD. But I've indicated that AD is going to be eight centimeters. Okay? Why is that eight centimeters? Because two pairs of adjacent sides equal in kite. Okay? And then uh, BC is also six centimeters. Why? Same story. Okay? Two pairs of adjacent sides equal in kite. Okay? Let's look at E. In E, we are told that PQR is, is a parallelogram. So there's a parallelogram, then those angles are parallel, those angles are equal, the angles bisect each other, and uh, I think I'm shorting one there. But the question says there's a parallelogram with TP equal to TS, which is equal to SR, and TS is 70, so that's 70, 70. And so on. Calculate with reason the length of the sides of PQR is. Calculate with reasons the length of the sides. So P PS is equal to um, uh, so 140. Why is it 140 meters, uh, millimeters? We had to first say that PT. PT is equal to 70 millimeters. Why? Because it's given that PT is equal to TS. Okay? That was given. So therefore that is equal to, to 140. Okay? So P or QR is also equal to 140. Why is this 140? Because opposite sides equal in a parallelogram, where two pairs of opposite sides are equal. Okay, so that's 140 then. And then PQ is equal to 70 millimeters. Why is it 70 millimeters? Because there are two pairs of opposite sides equal in parallelogram. Okay. Why well, could I just say the one uh, opposite sides equal in a parallelogram? All right.